What's up, Ravens? Welcome to ONW Now. I'm Katie Vaughn alongside Daniel and Yon. For those of you who don't know, there is no school on Friday of this week, and next week is parent-teacher conferences, so there will be no school on Thursday or Friday as well. If you're interested in a summer child care job, a family in Cedar Creek could use you to watch their two children during the summer months. Contact Student Services for more information. Have five bucks and someone special you want to wish a happy Valentine's Day? Then O&W is a sweet place to be. For only five dollars, someone special gets a bag filled with a cookie, candy, and a note from you. Get the order form in the office and project grad members will be selling bags at lunch. Let's take it to Cameron Keatsman for a special feature, Helping Around the World. You've all heard of church mission trips to cities that need help due to their unhealthy lifestyle. But what about going all the way to Africa? Sierra Higginbotham, a junior here at Olathe Northwest, got just that opportunity that will stay with her for a lifetime. I went to Africa because um, I got offered to go on a mission trip by my friend Paige, and I've always wanted to go to Africa since I was in like third grade. So I took up the opportunity, and yeah. The main purpose of the trip was to visit orphanages and soup clubs and comfort lots of kids, but Sierra has some things that she will never forget. Um, there's a lot of things that happened on the trip that I will never forget, but one specific story is we were at an orphanage and this little girl came up to me and I held her and she was probably about two. And I held her for maybe 15 minutes and when I went to go set her down she started crying and calling me mom. And it really made me think that these kids lack that attention. So for her to think that me holding her for 15 minutes I was her mom, really it kind of opened my eyes to how little attention these kids get. When you go into the area where I was at called the Trans Sky, they live in shacks or huts and the huts they build by themselves and the shacks are normally made out of like random metal scraps that they find. The kids that I were with got one meal a day and I came home and the first time I came to lunch here on that Friday somebody was compl complaining about what was for lunch that day and it's like these kids get one meal a day and they don't complain. Even when Sierra arrived back home, she kept many thoughts and memories with her that will change the way she sees the world, including being a part of an organization from right here at home. I am part of an organization called Invisible Children, which focuses more on like the northeastern part of Africa in general, and um, it's to end the war in Africa. So I mean, it's a little bit different than South Africa, but it's still. With love for people in Sierra's heart, she will never give up on hoping and trying, and hopes to go back soon. Some of the images of these dying people, their faces as they looked at me, will never leave my mind, ever. When I came home, I didn't want to leave. That was probably the hardest things I've ever done, is saying bye to all those kids. I think that everybody needs to take the time. Maybe not everybody should go, because I know that's not everybody's thing. But I think everyone needs to just stop and think about how lucky they are to have what they have, as opposed to everybody there. This has been Cameron Keatsman reporting for ONW Now. All right. Thanks, Cameron. Now let's take it to Haley and Bennett for Game Day Northwest. What's up, Ravens? Welcome to Game Day Northwest. I'm Haley Pitcairn alongside Bennett Hofer. This past weekend, the varsity girls basketball team traveled to the Newton Tournament and won the title of tournament champs. With juniors Kelsey Brooks and Jayla Jackson leading the team to a championship, Brooks had 12 points and Jackson had 11 the night of the game, with a winning score of 46-42 over the host team. Congratulations to the varsity girls basketball team. On another note, the boys basketball team is setting high standards. Last night, they stomped on Shawnee Mission East, 55-32. to Senior Siobhan Shields had a stellar performance. Let's take it to Tanner Busick and my colleague, Bennett Hofer, for the beat. I'm Siobhan Shields from Olathe Northwest, and I play basketball. The 31, Siobhan Shields! And we're 3-0 in the league, and uh, 
we've been we've been playing pretty well besides our one loss. We weren't really wet, ready to play that day and ended up taking a loss. But other than that, we've been uh, working hard, playing together, and winning decently. So that's always a good thing. I'm a competitor. The team's competitors, Willie's competitor, Davis, Trey, Graham, all the way down. Uh, we're all competitors, so we want to win. The one thing I can't stand is losing uh, more than anything. So when we when we have a big crowd and everyone's going crazy and everything, it like picks up the energy as a team. Like want, you want to play harder for your fans and everything, and like you appreciate them there. Yeah, thanks for everyone coming too. I mean, we've had great support this whole year. And I mean, that just really gets the team going, so we appreciate it. The boys' swim and dive team competed in the Emporia Invite this weekend, placing third overall as a team. Senior diver Drew Egan placed second, and freshman diver Josh Reed placed ninth. Congratulations to the swimmers and divers. The wrestling team competed in a very tough Junction City tournament this past weekend, bringing home the top three places, Middleton placing first, Haynes second, and Bowman third. Well, that's all we have for this week's edition of Game Day Northwest. This has been Haley Pitcairn and Bennett Hofer. Back to you guys at the desk. Help Us Learn, Give Us Hope is a statewide organization that collects school supplies to send to children in Africa, Iraq, and Afghanistan. We're collecting all kinds of school supplies through Friday. You can drop off the materials in Mr. Morgan or Ms. Ingalls' room. If you have any questions, please contact Dr. Sinna in the Quest Room. Let's take it to Kenya for a look at Jeans for Teens. Imagine if you didn't have any jeans. Right now, one in three homeless people in America are 18. So do something. Do something. Do something. Clean out your closet. Clean out your closet. And bring any gently worn jeans now until February 10th. The school that collects the most jeans gets $5,000. New era postale jeans for every student. And a party for our entire school. So make a difference now. And give someone a pair of jeans. With, With teens, teens for jeans. Remember seniors, the deadline for the senior ad in the 2011-2012 yearbook is February 17th. If you or your parents would like to reserve a spot, visit the school website and download the senior ad form. Contact Mr. Ravel in room 1306 with any questions. Well that's all we have for you today Ravens. For the latest stories and updates, visit the Raven Daily at www.ownwravens.net slash ravendaily. For Daniel and Jan, I'm Katie Vaughn. Have a great day. Remember, every day is a great day to be a Raven.